okay here what you are seeing is a simple function um, the function is created on the okay we are going to create the function in the pubs database usually the function starts like this um, first uh, there should be a keyword create function after this uh, you can name your function here in this example total books is the function name and here uh, the function is not receiving any parameter that's why uh, um, here we have a pair of uh, open and close parentheses after this first line uh, we should specify uh, what the function returns so the return data type is specified here uh, if you see here uh, um, that's what specified in the next line returns int s so this function returns an integer then the function program logic goes inside the begin and end so this highlighted one is what called um, body of the function so in the body of the function if you see um, we have declared a variable called uh, book count and we are getting a total book from the titles table so one that's uh, selected into this variable book count uh, then this book count is returned to the caller so that's a, that's what this function is uh, doing here um, to quickly recap uh, create function is the keyword used to create the function this is the function name doesn't receive any parameter returns an integer then function body goes between begin and end it uh, takes the book count from the titles uh, and collects that in a variable then returns that <laughs> now let us execute this uh, tsql to create the function okay if there is no syntactical error here and everything is right you will see common completed successfully now you see we are creating a function in the pubs database so what i'm doing i'm just clicking a refresh on pubs then go into the programmability node then i'm expanding functions here if you see there are uh, different varieties of function the function we wrote here uh, actually returns a single scalar value uh, so we call this as a scalar valued function here if you see there is a scalar valued function node and if i expand this you can see the total books uh, node here now we will see executing this uh, function to execute this function So that's all required. So what I'm doing is I'm just keep putting a simple select statement here. This DBO qualifier is required. As you see here, the function name itself appended with the schema DBO. So I'm just keeping a DBO dot total books. Since this is the function, we have to specify the open and close parentheses. Now it's now it's time to execute this. So I just selected this statement and I am clicking on the execute. So if you see um, the function returns 18. That means the table has 18 rows. see here uh, I selected all titles and it's 18 
okay that's all in this video